Hello. Well, uh, today I'm gonna do a video I've kind of wanted to do for some time um, regarding Friday the 13th. As I'm sure many of you know, there was a lawsuit going on between Sean Cunningham and <clears throat> Victor Miller about who owns the rights to. Well, actually, it wasn't exactly that. It was, um, basically ownership for the rights of the original film. And there's a whole thing of... I made a video about this some time ago that explains a lot better, but basically in the short of it, there's a clause of the copyright for writers. Uh, after 35 years, they can just try and... they can just go and... try and take ownership of that screenplay for themselves. And what usually happens, the producer will come and they'll make a deal, and that'll be that. Well, that didn't happen, and uh, uh, what uh, <clears throat> Sean Cunningham was trying to say and do was explain that uh, Victor Miller was a writer for a hire, and if that is the case, and it's proven in court, well... <clears throat> uh, then he has no. Then Victor Miller has no rights at all to to claim and own the film, the the, the screenplay, and ownership of the uh, film essentially. Um, and basically, there is a sixty-two page, which I will link it in the description below. The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, uh, article as well as one from bloodydisgusting.com where basically the run of it, the short of it is Victor Miller won. He won uh, the case uh, and the judge, a 62 page document basically illustrated reasons as to why. Victor Miller should own the <clears throat> rights to the original Friday the 13th, uh, you know, the screenplay. Um, and basically, with this, um, running short of it is, is um, basically, he seems to own the first movie's rights in the U.S. The uh, rest of the world, not really. But only in America, he seems to own the rights to that film. But in a bloody disgusting article, they go and say there's all these various things to this. Like, he doesn't own Jason from part three, which is the one with the hockey mask, which everybody knows doesn't own the part two version with the uh, sack on his head. doesn't own the fake Jason. He doesn't own this or that. And which is interesting here, and um, the, somebody from uh, Horror Inc., which is the company that produced the Friday the 13th films, they're saying all this stuff like... Um, hockey mask wearing killer in this statement. They never say Jason Voorhees. Um, so it's like Victor Miller owns the name essentially of Jason Voorhees. He essentially owns the title of Friday the 13th because if he owns the rights, he gets that. But at the same time, um, they're saying they're looking into making new films of Friday the 13th. But if he owns... If Victor Miller owns the rights to Friday the 13th and Jason Voorhees, and they seem to be intent on making more films of this franchise with Jason Voorhees as the killer, the question is, how could they do so without having some sort of agreement being reached with Victor Miller? Now, before all this lawsuit stuff began... Usually what happens is when such a 
thing happens when the screenwriter tries to get the rights back after 35 years so they can essentially claim ownership over that property. The producer will come in, make a deal, and basically the producers or the company or whatever produced it, they'll still own it, but now the there's a settlement uh, money in place that uh, the writer and producer and everybody involved with that that would have to make all that happen all came to an agreement with. It seems like that was going to happen. Um, you know, yes, this often happens uh, nowadays. Uh, or screenwriters do that because honestly, um, I've said before that they kind of get screwed in this situation because. If a, they, if a screenwriter writes a film for something, and they have no clue if it's going to be big, possibly has the potential of being something. But sometimes, if, if marketed wrong, if the people who make the movie have no clue what they're doing, and the writer is just the writer and isn't a director or producer or anything else, they have no involvement or creative input to this. And as a result, a film could flop and be awful and they get mm, whatever just butt kiss but if a film is successful like Friday the 13th was Victor Miller gets really nothing um, he has gotten payments um, for all the sequels with Jason Voorhees and everything Friday the 13th and all the other films from New Line Because they always say characters created by Victor Miller. And to have that credit on screen, they have to pay him money. Uh, but that's really it. Maybe he saw how successful it was, and he's like, I didn't really get paid a whole lot. And I've only gotten little installments here and there throughout the years for 11 other movies. So that aims there and that's really it but he wants ownership because he saw how popular this franchise became and yeah basically now it's like a, there's, it seems like Horror Inc Sean Cunningham will counter suit and try and make it so they'll get the rights and all that but I've I said it before once that I think they he Sean Cunningham a bit Jump the gun a little bit, and yeah. But as of now, it seems as if Victor Miller owns Jason Voorhees, the name Jason Voorhees, Mrs. Voorhees, because she wasn't Pamela yet. She was Pamela in part four, because on the tombstone it says Pamela Voorhees. He owns Camp Crystal Lake. Owns... How is it? It was Jason Voorhees. No, well, that's the young version of Jason, but still. Honestly, this is a fairly quick video, but, you know, just try to give a rundown the best I can. Um, again, leave links to Hollywood Reporter and the Bloody Disgusting article, articles in the description below. And even uh, link to the original video <laughs> that I had with this uh, lawsuit because I made a video before uh, basically it was a lot more in-depth but as of now Victor Miller is he's come out the victor in this no pun intended I guess uh, that was really funny but he's the winner of this so far but you know they seem to have plans of wanting to do more Friday the 13th films, but since they're going to most likely counter sue, how long will that actually, until that happens, I don't know. Um, but, uh, I think Victor Menor would be quite willing to negotiate and talk to Sean Cunningham and all those with Horror Inc., to try and make some sort of deal. You know, I think that's what his 
sort of plan was all along, wanted the rights. However, if he was able to make a deal, then great. Um, we'll just have to wait for more developments come. So, yeah, I don't know. Until then, I don't really know what else to say outside of just rambling, because uh, I would... I think many of you people, you guys know this already, but hey, to anybody who doesn't, there you go. And you also have a 62-page document through the Hollywood Reporter. Yeah, just want to give you a quick summary of it, uh, because it's a couple articles, I didn't want to just sit here and bore you by reading it, because... Uh, I don't know how uh, <laughs> how interesting I am with through with uh, when it comes to reading articles and stuff. So if it was just one, sure I'd read it, but because it's two, uh, yeah, I want to keep this short, under twenty minutes, and uh, I believe I've done that. So that's it. Just I don't know. They want to make more films gonna have to wait a little bit but as of now there hasn't been really any development that I've seen um, yeah. stuff with the game and stuff like they won't, they won't update for the game um, Basically, as of now, there hasn't been any articles written that are brand new that I can see. Yep, yeah, it's just a few days ago, two, three days ago, yeah. But anyway, um, that's really all I have to say for right now. Um, do more horror-related stuff now, because you know, it's October, Halloween time, so. There you go. Um, might talk about a certain movie next week, um, sort of debating on which one, but. Uh, yeah. And. It's really all I have now, so really until uh, any new developments, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Hope you all have a good day, um, have a good weekend, and uh, yeah, see you next week, and I'll you know, talk about a a movie next time. <laughs>